Good morning, everybody. Topic for today is the side effect of COVID vaccine. I'm talking about COVID shield and Covaxin, which are the Indian vaccines. Let's understand that because a huge number of people are getting vaccinated now, close to three crore people have already been vaccinated in India. Please understand that few of the people who have been vaccinated are going to have some side effects. These side effects are quite simple and do not really require any major treatment. These side effects should not deter you from taking the vaccine. Let's understand that these side effects can be divided into local that is those occurring at the site of injection and systemic that is those occurring on the body. Let's start with the local side effects. Mostly after you take a jab, you are going to experience some amount of pain. There can be some amount of redness. There can be a little itching. Rarely a swelling can be seen at the site of injection. And sometimes it is noted that those receiving vaccines can have a little pain in the shoulder and the arm. Most of these are quite benign and usually disappear from within a day or two. Sometimes uh, using of ice packs may relieve the pain and rarely some people might have received paracetamol to alleviate the pain. Now coming to systemic side effects, it is divided into very common, common and uncommon. How do we divide very common, uncommon and uh, common and common? Very common are those which you see in more than one person in 10 people. Common are those which you see for a person in 10 people. Uncommon are you see one person in 100 people. So let's come into the very common side effects. Lot of patients experience some amount of feverishness little bit of tiredness, some amount of body ache. They can feel nauseated, that is they might have a sensation of vomiting. These are very common side effects and these last for a duration of day or two. Now coming to the common side effects, that is those occurring in 1 in 10 people, that is they develop some amount of flu-like symptoms, that is they have fever, they have chills, they have some amount of runny nose, a little bit of sore throat, occasional cough and they feel more tired than usual. While the uncommon side effects are those which occur in 1 in 100 people. That is, some might feel extremely fatigued, they might have little bit of diarrhea, some amount of abdominal pain, rashes over the body, slight swelling of the body. These are some of the uncommon side effects. There have been rarer side effects that is occasionally which has occurred or very few cases have been reported of people having allergic reactions. That is they might have lot of itching, red skin, generalized swelling of the body and occasionally they can have something called as anaphylaxis. Extremely rare that is Less than 80 cases have been reported of increased clotting in the patients. Though this has been reported in a Norwegian study where around 79 patients developed some amount of blood clots which caused some side effects but it is extremely uncommon and should not deter you from taking the vaccine. Now let's understand that of all the side effects a major study was done where four huge clinical trials including more than 23,000 people were enrolled and they found out that these side effects have been divided into people based on the percentage that most people have fever, little bit of nausea, headache, body ache, occasionally chills and joint pain. These are the symptoms which are seen in people for more than 20%. Less than that is considered as uncommon. Now, after taking the vaccine, having understood the side effects, what can I do? The first and foremost thing is that after you take the vaccine, 
you stay in the hospital for a short duration at the site of your vaccination center because if any side effects are encountered they can be tackled then and there beyond that if you experience some side effects you can just wait and watch for some time because most of them are transient and they go over time if you feel feverish or have flu like symptoms then you can take paracetamol at home if you are developing rashes or uh, allergic reactions then you have to report to your doctor immediately any other side effect beyond this or these symptoms going beyond 3 days please consider consulting your doctor i hope i have summarized most of the side effects of the vaccine and please understand that these are quite uncommon and quite simple i have taken the vaccine all of my staff my medical staff my laboratory staff my hospital staff have taken the vaccine and everybody is doing fine so please do not refuse taking the vaccine considering the side effects i hope this was informative if anything beyond this i would be happy to answer your queries thank you